hi wir yn anrhydedd coelwch fi fod i fyny yma ar lwyfan cynhadledd uh, flynyddol y blaid i chanerch chi. Dw i wedi gwylio digon uh, o areithia o'r llwyfan uh, dros y blynyddoedd. Na, ddim dweud rhai yn wella i gilydd. Ond yna, dw i wedi gwylio areithia lu dros y blynyddoedd. Dw i wedi gwylio a gwrando. Fel dw i wedi gwylio a gwrando hefyd uh, ar areithia yng nghanadledd a pob un o'r pleidiau uh, dros gyfnod y bron i i gynwynedd fel newyddadurwr gwleidyddol. Uh, Efo papur a phensel yn yn llaw, yn pwyso a mesur ac yn nodi ac yn sylwebu. Pan nath yr amser yn y mywyd i, I roi'r gora uh, i sylwebu a thrio gweithredu dros ynglad, uh, dim ond yn enw un blaid allwn i fyth fod wedi gwneud hynny. Yr unig blaid, yr unig blaid sydd i profi dro ar ôl tro bod ganddi hi wir uchelgais dros Gymru. A dyna pam y mod i yn sefyll yma a pnaw yma fel aelod cynulliad blaid Cymru dros ynys môr. Sam am hi eich bod uh, rhai pobl wedi cael sioc pan wnes i gyhoeddi uh, yn ôl y mis mehefin mod i am roi'r gora i ngyrfa fel newyddadurwr a darlledwr er mwyn trio cael y newis yn ymgeisydd uh, Plaid Cymru ar gyfer yr is-etholiad uh, yn ynys môn yr awst y cyntaf. Alla mae fi gallai sioc mwyaf, uh, fi a'r teulu mod i wedi magu digon o bloc uh, i wneud. Mi oedd bywyd yn eitha hawdd, uh, cynt, uh, deud y gwir. Uh, Ond i'n lwcus iawn, ond i'n cael gwneud gwaith, ond i'n i fwynhau yn fawr iawn, ond i'n cael troi fyny gwneud yn gwaith, a mynd adra ag anghofio amdano fo. Um, Dwi wedi gweld, pan ddim rhoi o fel am yr un yn ama pam bod fi'n gwneud y fath me. Mi oedd hi'n swydd gyfrifol mewn ffordd, ond ar y llaw arall doedd gen i ddim cyfrifoldeb. Mi fyddai'n hawdd iawn i bob un ohonna ni uh, sy'n eistedd yma heddiw, Wel, eistedd yn ôl a gadael i eraill sgwyddo cyfrifoldeb. Ond mae pawb yn fan hyn wedi gwrthod y llwybr hwnnw. Pawb sy'n aelodau o blaid Cymru wedi deud wrth yn hunan dynnu am y sgwyddo y cyfrifoldeb dros ddyfodol yn cenedl ni. Dyna pam bod bob un sy'n wedi pleidleisio erioed dros blaid Cymru wedi penderfynu na dan i ddim yn, anha- yn hapus i bleidleisio heb feddwl da ni am wneud penderfyniad positif dros yn cymunedau a dros ddyfodol Cymru. Mi ges i magu yngwerthoedd plaid Cymru. Yn magu i sylweddoli, mae dim ond drwy gymryd cyfrifoldeb am yn ffawd yn hunan y gallwn i gyrraedd yn potensial fel cenedl. Yn magu i gredu bod rhaid i ni gyd wneud yn gora dros yn cyddyn, yn cyndogion ni yma yng Nghymru a thu hwnt i hynny wrth gwrs. Y magu i sylweddoli mae yn braint ni ydy gwarchod yn treftadaeth anhiaeth ni. Ond magu i gredu bod pawb yn gyfartal a bod pawb yn heiddi cyfle. Gwerthoedd plaid Cymru a'r gwerthoedd sy'n cael eu rhannu gan bawb yma heddiw. Pan, pan gyrhaeddi sy'n arddeg am wedi gwyddodd rhywbeth yn môn, a thangos i fi bod bosib troi y gwerthoedd hynny ar waith. A hynny oedd pan enillodd y blaid yr etholaeth yn yr etholiad gyffredinol yn 87. Ac yn fan hyn, y byswn ni'n licio rhoi teirnged i'n rhagflaenu ddi fel aelod cynulliad yn ys môn. Ieuan Wyn Jones a'i dîm yn ôl yn yr 80a lwyddodd i berswadio pobl yn ys môn i roi i ffydd yn y blaid. A hynny, yn ei dro yn adeiladu ar y gwaith gafodd ei wneud am ddegawda cyn hynny yn meithrin y craidd o bleidleiswyr sy'n ffydlon ac yn driw i blaid Cymru a'i gwerthoedd hyd heddiw. Ieuan, diolch am osod seilia cadar ni'r blaid y môn seilia a roeddwn ni a'r tîm yn falch iawn o gael adeiladu arni nhw ar awst y cyd. Fe nath ieuan hefyd wrth gwrs oedd arwain plaid Cymru i lywodraeth. 
bydd hefyd yn ei dro yn gosod seilio cadarn ar gyfer dychwelyd i lywodraeth yn 2016 a dwi'n edrych ymlaen gael chwarae'n rhannu yn hynny. Mi nath llywodraeth ei yn lwyddo i ddangos sydd beth ydy Plaid Cymru mewn llywodraeth genedlaethol. Sydd mae Plaid Cymru'n gallu torchu llewis a mynd i rafal a rhai o wir broblemau Cymru. Sydd mae'r Plaid yma yn barod i gymryd cama, dewr ac arloesol er mwyn sicrhau ffyniant economaidd a thegwch cymdeithasol. Dwi'n gwybod pa mor falch ydy ieuan ar tîm o'r gwaith nytha nhw'n sicrhau 6,000 a hanner o dai fforddiadwy newydd. Pa mor falch ydyn ni gyd o'r hwb gafodd ei roi i gysylltiadau trafnidiaeth er mwyn gallu rhannu cyfoeth i bob rhan o'r wlad a'n hyno ni fel penedl. Pa mor bwysig oedd y cama bryd hynny i atal sbytau rhag gael ei hys raddio, i roi status swyddogol i'r Gymraeg am y tro cyntaf sefydlu'r coleg cenedlaethol gymaint o gama bras mewn un cyfnod o lywodraeth. A hynny mewn partneriaeth. Do mi ddangoson ni yn bod ni yn blaid gyfrifol sy'n gallu gweithio efo eraill er lles y genedl. Ond dychmygwch be allan ni i wneud a sed y gallad Cymru gael ei thraws newid efo tîm plaid Cymru yn arwain llywodraeth bwyafrif. Dyna'r nod a dim llai. It is still somewhat surreal to be standing here after 20 tight-lipped uh, years as a political journalist talking about our ambitions as a party and our record in government, our vision for the nation. But you know what? When you've witnessed up close so much inaction, heard so many hollow promises, it's just a relief now to be able to play a small part in helping to get our nation back on track. A relief to be able to speak out as applied Cymru member, a member of the Party of Wales, putting Wales first and setting goals no less ambitious than the people of Wales deserve. I must say it was a real pleasure to get the shackles off uh, to fight the Ennis Morn by-election. I mentioned ambition. I suppose it is a danger in politics to, uh, to set expectations too high, but I will expect the same in every election now. <laughs> I don't mean the size of the majority, David Ellis, I mean the weather. <laughs> All of you who worked so hard pounding the streets and uh, in some cases the beaches of Angles, here enough Jocelyn's around this afternoon, uh, all of you who did pound the streets last July, and you can still spot you three months on from the suntans, um, but all of you I know enjoyed uh, what, what must have been the sunniest, hottest uh, by-election in many years. And by that, I don't just mean that it was nice and warm, but it was so much easier in Anglesey's fine sunshine to have conversations with the people of the island about the kind of Wales we want and to share common concerns about what's holding us back as a nation. Wales can't afford to keep having to take backward steps because UK-focused parties at Westminster govern with no understanding and seemingly no real desire to understand what we really need here in Wales. We can't afford to be held back because of the unwillingness of successive UK governments to right their wrongs and address the fundamental issue of fair funding for Wales through a review of the Barnett Fund. We cannot afford to keep hanging on for the implementation of the modest Silk Commission recommendations on giving Wales some say over our finances. We can't afford the effects of successive policies totally at odds with our needs and implemented with total disregard for their effects. The bedroom tax causing untold misery to thousands of individuals and families hitting the most vulnerable and threatening to tear Welsh communities apart. Take for another 
an example. The privatisation of the Royal Mail, celebrated, of course, by institutional investors, feared by those who depend on its universality. The government making a quick buck at the expense of its users, and whatever promises given as sweeteners barely hiding the real threat to the universal nature of postal services here in Wales. But neither can we afford to have an unimaginative Welsh government bereft of ideas. Devolution was a first step towards letting us achieve our potential. Plaid Cymru pressure helped pave the way for a second Government of Wales Act. It took Plaid Cymru in government to take the bold decision to go to the country with a second referendum, an opportunity, of course, embraced by the people of Wales as we moved on to another milestone in the story of devolution. Now what do we have? We have a UK party governing in Cardiff saying, let's stop the unfinished process. Let's make devolution an event. Well, I say we have a long way to go in that process. And by that, I don't mean pursuing constitutional change for its own sake, but a process of maturing as a country, learning to use the tools we have and finding over times what are the new tools we need to move Wales forward. We certainly don't want a government that has no vision of how to use the tools already at its disposal to really take radical steps that truly reflect Wales's needs and that merely follow a UK agenda with a Welsh twist. When we say counter the Royal Mail privatisation with a Welsh postal service, this government's instinct is to say it can't be done. When we say loosen the grips of the energy giants by setting up a not-for-dividend Welsh energy company, this government's instinct is to say it can't be done. When we say fund hundreds of new doctor's posts with an innovative new levy on sweet drinks, this government's instinct is to say it can't be done. Well, I say can't be done is a phrase that we hear far, far too often. So let's play our role effectively in opposition. Let's hold this government to account. Let's see what can be gained through, for example, what we negotiated through the budget in taking important steps uh, towards the integration of social services and health. But our real role is to plan now for government. The people of Wales deserve leadership. You deserve ambition. Our job is to prove that that leadership can only come from having Plaid Cymru in government putting Wales's needs first. Let's show more than ever that we're in tune with the aspirations of all people in all parts of Wales. Whatever background, whatever language, this is a party that listens to you. Our role and our ambition is to transform Wales. And it's not us, as a party, acting alone. This will be a partnership between Plaid Cymru, the Party of Wales, and the nation's citizens. That's why Leanne is leading us in our million conversations with the people of Wales. Listening, sharing ideas, putting together a blueprint, not just for the kind of Wales that Plaid Cymru wants, though our values are unswerving, but the kind of nation the people of Wales wants. That Wales is confident in its abilities, proud of its history, strong in its aspirations, and determined in its outlook. It's through being in government, and by all of us as citizens taking ever more control of our destiny, that we can reach our potential. Let's build on your tremendous successes this summer in Anismorn and in Penareol and keep the momentum going. We need the trust of the Welsh people. 
Let's earn that trust. At the end of the day, the key to our future is in our hands. And in Deloni, Bobby in Odina Sadion Kamri, Mar Ashwev, in Devoto, and Hine. And Kavri Valdebni, at the summit Kamri, Tiagat Devoto, Tekach, Mui Shawarchis, Mui Bach, a shower, shower, Mui Hedaris.